coming up on the Globe Sports Corner, we'll take a look at the men's volleyball team as their season gets underway. Jim Daughtery updates us on his second season with the men's volleyball team. And a track athlete returns to nationals. All this and more on the Globe Sports Corner. Welcome back to another episode of the Globe Sports Corner. I'm Allison Priggy. The men's volleyball team is now in their second season. Since being a club team back in 2017, Ben Cotton went to find out how the team is looking to make big improvements since last year. The Goshen College men's volleyball team are off to an even start into their season as the record stands at 2-2. Two and two. In the last game, the men won in three sets over Lincoln College. Sophomore outside hitter Alex Robovich speaks about the importance of the team chemistry and freshman middle Ian Fox touches on leadership of the team. Uh, this year it's a completely different team, I guess, and uh, all of you guys came in, so we need to build a team uh, from the last year and to go into this season. Uh, we have to uh, get the chemistry be better so, because uh, a lot of new people came in. And uh, so far it's working really well and we're enjoying our time. And the team, I think, is, uh, is, it's, it's in a good shape. The season. I think MJ has great leadership on that court. He keeps our energy high and he keeps us wanting to win and striving and he keeps pushing us to get better and better. Fox goes into detail about his transition from high school volleyball to college. Pretty difficult. At high school I was like the top dog. In colleges they always say they take the best players and that's what make it in the college from high school. But you don't really see it until now. And especially here with middle blocking, the biggest thing is the middles, the setters are a lot faster. So it's a lot more difficult to read where they're going. And But I feel like the transition is going well and I feel like I'm playing good. Last season Alex finished second in the nation for total kills in the season. He speaks about how his off season has primed him for his sophomore year. When I was back home in Bulgaria, I played a lot of volleyball. I was, I was trying to improve my endurance. Also, uh, I tried to pass better and uh, at the same time to hit. Um, one, one of my goals is to improve my hitting percentage, which requires a lot of hard work. And uh, I need to build that chemistry with my uh, setters so uh, we can understand each other very easily and I can get uh, some kills. <laughs> The next game for the Maple Leafs will be in Campbellsville, Kentucky, where they'll go head-to-head -head versus number two in the nation, Campbellsville University. For Globe Sports, I'm Benjamin Cotton. The men will be back in action on January 31st against ranked Campbellsville University. When we return, Tanner Camp will talk with coach Jim Daughtery about his time coaching the men's volleyball team. Coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen College students enjoy an amazing success record, and we have some impressive numbers to prove it. But stories of our graduates say even more, like developing a breakthrough antiviral drug for HIV AIDS, writing number one hits, being named one of Time Magazine's most influential people in the world for cancer research, and enjoying a broadcast career right out of college. They all started with a real world education on a campus that makes everyone feel at home. See how the numbers add up and schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Sports Corner. I'm Tanner Camp. To my left, I'm with head coach Jim Daughtery. I'm head coach for the men's volleyball team here at Goshen. Coach, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Tanner. It's glad to be here. So you entered your second season with the team, uh, and you were also the head coach when it was a club team back in 2017. That's so correct. since that very first match, how do you feel like that the team, or in general, the program has grown? Well, the program's really grown because when we were a club team, we only had three scholarship athletes. Um, last year we had seven scholarship athletes, and this year um, we were carrying a roster of 16 players. So it's really grown. Um, it's very com they've come together. It's a very tight knit group, and we're excited to have them. And then before being the head coach for the men's volleyball team, you were also uh, the assistant coach for the women's volleyball team back starting in 2014. Yeah, five uh, years. How do you think that experience has helped translate into from going from women's volleyball into men's volleyball? Um, well, uh, back, back in the day, um, in the 70s and 80s, I played men's volleyball. So that's what got me into coaching women's volleyball and girls' volleyball. So um, it's kind of nice to 
full circle and come back to being uh, involved with uh, men's volleyball again. But working with JR and working here at the college for five years, that led me to build a little bit of an understanding of the college and what's important here. And I've, I've passed that on to my players on the men's side. So we've got a lot of good uh, student athletes. They're good in the classroom. They're good on the floor. Uh, you guys have been practicing really hard uh, since around January. I've talked to a couple of the players, and they have seem to be really working hard in practices and having lots of fun. Uh, since that first practice in January, what has been the message that you've been trying to tell your team uh, as you got ready for those first couple of matches? Um, that we're here to compete, and we want to compete. We want to compete on a bigger stage than just here, and we want to compete on a stage outside of our conference. So um, that's leading to us playing more ranked teams this year than we had last year. Um, this coming Friday, we're going down to uh, Campbellsville and playing number two ranked Campbellsville University. So we're and excited. And since the men's volleyball team first formed when it was a club team, uh, with this year you guys brought in eight new players mm -hmm. for essentially what feels like a brand new team. So after all the practices and you know getting to play a couple of matches, how do you think the team has been performing at this point in the season? Well, uh, we've been getting better and better every time we play. And uh, Monday night that showed. I mean, we had one guy hit 750. Hmm. Um, we had uh, some others that set uh, records for the team because we have certain goals we have every time we play. And we had, we had this, this was the first match we had four check marks. So for all four goals were reached. So that's exciting to see, and the guys are excited about doing it. And you talk about that excitement. You know, there's been a lot of excitement um, from the players, through the fans, through everyone uh, from Maple Leaf Athletics, mm -hmm. just in terms of how the team's going to perform. You know, new roster, good start to the season so far. Uh, as we kind of get ready for the season to get into full swing here soon, what is the overall, again, message that you want to tell your team throughout the whole season to make sure that they compete at their highest level? Uh, to work hard, um, to come prepare, uh, prepared to practice and prepared to play. Um, we challenged everybody, each other, last night to get ready to play uh, this Friday and Saturday. Uh, both of these teams are playing, have great programs, um, Campbellsville and Life. They're, um, they've got lots of wins, and we're going to go down there and compete. And we're challenging each other to compete. So it's going to be an interesting couple days. Well, Coach, once again, thank you so much for coming down to the studio. When we come back, a Maple Leaf qualifies for another trip to Nationals. That's coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. the best college radio station in the nation. It's not New York City or Chicago, it's Goshen College. Our broadcasting program is just one of Goshen's 35 outstanding majors. At Goshen College, you will work one-on-one -on -one with top professionals and get studio time in your first semester. You can call a game from the playing field or broadcast from a downtown radio studio. How do I know Goshen was the best choice? Right after graduation, I'll start my new job as a radio morning show co-host. Take the next step in your broadcasting career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. When it comes to track and field, one event you might know very well is race walking. Sianna Emery, senior race walker for the Maple Leafs, has achieved quite a bit in this event and continued her success this past weekend. Tanner Camp has more on the story. On Saturday, January 25th, Sianna Emery, a senior race walker for the Goshen women's track and field team, finished second place in the Goshen College race walk. Not only did she finish second in the race, her time qualified her for the NAIA Indoor Championship. Emery was very happy with her performance and is looking to improve throughout the rest of the season. I was happy about it. Uh, it's nice to get that kind of out of the way um, so that for our next race I can really focus on um, improving my time or maybe being a little bit more aggressive without having to worry about this hitting a standard. Emery has qualified for the indoor championship all four years at Goshen College. She explains more about her focus in practices and on meet day to help her achieve the success. We have been focusing a lot on just building up my endurance and so I do a lot more like running and cross training um, and we really only actually do race walk workouts like the week leading up to the race uh, and so that really helps with like overall strength um, and yeah, like I said, endurance so that the race itself isn't as, um, as tough. As for the national championship, Emery talks about how she has two goals that she wants to accomplish for that race. 
She also talks more about how her workouts are going to adjust now that she's qualified for nationals. I'd really like to get All-American again. Um, right now it's kind of looking like almost, it's going to be a really tight and fast field. So I'm just hoping to stay with the group and, um, you know, pull out a, a good place. And it'd be really nice to get a PR at nationals because I haven't done that before. So I was on SST in the fall and so I wasn't really able to train um, that well there. And so my training hasn't been super great so far. Like I just haven't had that much of it. Um, and so moving forward now that like I do have the standard, I can really um, amp up the training and work on getting PRs moving forward. Emery will compete in the indoor championship in March. Until then, she will continue to train to make her final indoor season one to remember forever. For Globe Sports, I'm Tanner Camp. Emery has had a very impressive career as a Maple Leaf, and we wish her the best of luck throughout her season. When we come back, we'll look at the Maple Leaf schedule. That's next on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen College, everyone's at home here. Students from around the world and down the street find inspiration and lifelong friends in our unique supportive community, right here in Northern Indiana. Cutting edge academics, real world learning and small personalized classes make the difference. All surrounded by world class culture and championship sports. Most importantly, it all leads to a record of amazing outcomes in diverse fields of study. From pre-med to social work, broadcasting to accounting, schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. Let's take a look at your Maple Leafs in action this week. The men's volleyball team will travel to Kentucky to take on Campbellsville University on Friday and Life University on Saturday. The softball team opens up their season this Friday and Saturday as they travel to Rosemont, Illinois to compete in the NAI leadoff classic. The men and women's track and field team will be competing in the Indiana Wesleyan Midwest Classic this Saturday, and the GC men and women's basketball teams take on University of St. Francis in a doubleheader this Saturday as well. That wraps up this episode of the Globe Sports Corner. Be sure to check us out on social media at 91.1 The Globe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at 91.1 The Globe and visit our website, globeradio.org. We'll see you next time on the Globe Sports Corner.